Hey, hey everybody, this is Melina from scrapbookingwithme.com and me, Crafty Scrapper, here on YouTube and Instagram. Now, this coffee dyed speckled journal is complete in my eyes and we are ready to show you the complete flip through. So, this is part four of this journal series, the journey of this journal series. And um, you will find parts one, two, and three listed in a row on my channel. And it says um, CDS journal part one, CDS journal part two, part three, and this is part four. And it will be our complete flip through. And it is nice and chunky. I love how this looks. I love how it turned out. I love that when I lie it, lie it, lay it down, it is pretty much square when I lay it down on the table. Now, if I've done it on its spine, it would fall open. But just to lay it here on the table, it is not Pac-Man. It's pretty much even Stevens there. So I love that part. I added this little clip to the front cover. So that has not been on there in any of the other videos. That's new from when I completed it. Like I said in the last video, I did some um, inking onto this lace just because it was kind of standing out too much and taken away from the cover. So I inked that some and then I left these tails loose. I like the way that turned out. The back has just got that lace almost to the end of the spine there. You can see the Fabri-Tac under that. It's kind of shiny, but I'm okay with that. So if anybody else is bothered by it, I'm sorry, but it's okay. But you can kind of see the shine from that Fabri-Tac. All right, so like I said, I added this clip, and all it is is a little butterfly clip. It's got some uh, baker's twine at the end of the clip and then just some fabric ribbon here and I just put a dot of Fabri-Tac under the butterfly clip and onto the um, ribbon and on the inside of the ribbon it has a piece of score tape so that keeps the ribbon turned and then it keep the Fabri-Tac keeps that attached to the clip so I'll put it off to the side here so you can see it a little better my dishwasher is going and why that makes my light in my scrap room kind of blink a little bit I'll never know but it's always done that the but the um, dishwasher is going so if you hear something in the background that's what it is let me put this here we go. Maybe you can see it a little bit better. It needs to be even a darker piece of paper, but I don't have that. So just do it like that. And as you can see, my fingertips are still all inky from all the distressing I did in this journal. But there's the little clip I made for the front cover. And it's just got that one tail back there. And that just clips on to the front of the book there. Okay, so here we go on the inside. You can see that those that baker's twine from those tags are sticking out good at the top. And then there are some little surprises out here. I've got some jute twine, some more baker's twine, and then another little piece of thread there. Gives it a little bit more character. So you open this up. And you have your secretarial expandable pocket here. And then that beautiful ledger cardstock. And then I've got a little booklet here. It's just plain on the inside. You could add stuff. These are the printables from Bethany Spring Fling Digital Kit that is in the um, shop. It is listed under the digitals as Spring Fling by... Bethany J, I think is how we've got it listed. And then here's another little arrow clip and just some little 
card journaling cards I've added to that little booklet that goes in that first secretarial pocket in the beginning here so there's that booklet uh, you've seen this in um, the past videos I added it pretty early it's a library pocket with <coughs> that card that came with it from uh, being my bonnet company that was from my past e-club kit and then I've got craft a craft cover on my signature that is put in to this book to this cover uh, with a hidden spine so that's another thing you can't see the stitching on the outside of this book this is a hidden spine journal and you open it up and there is an expandable pocket here and I've just put a piece of cardstock a little tuck in there and it has a belly band here and in this belly band I have made a little skinny signature it is sewn here and I just put some leftover dot coffee dyed paper that I had from this book just put that in there so it's a little signature a little booklet of its own in that belly band there uh, on this watercolored um, coffee dyed paper I just added a torn piece of ledger paper that was a printable and a die cut from those Prima Nature Lover die cuts that I were I was using and then some of the pages have things on them I added from part one and then some I've just left like this was done in part one of this video series and I liked it like that so I left it like that and then we have a piece of vellum here and on the back side we have another piece of that printable ledger paper and I put another butterfly clip like it's on the front cover here there with a piece of jute um, out to the side of it just knotted twice I need to knot that a little bit better so it doesn't come off all right and then here is one of those short pages that is a six and a half by six and a half uh, sheet of cardstock and on each one of those I have a craft pocket with the tag and the um, baker's twine sticking out of it so that's the tags there it's just a piece of leftover cardstock that I had this is one of those dies from that same um, ephemera pack from Prima that I put one of Bethany's digitals into and I kind of crumpled it and inked it really well and put another piece of cardstock behind it because I had just printed her digitals off on regular copy paper and so um, I put that on a piece of cardstock just to kind of give it some girth so it would go in and out of that pocket really well so there is that for that little short page and here is a printable um, that I just found online postcard and I made it fit to page and there is another um, die cut from that ephemera pack and if you want to know how this was done all of the pages as far as the dyeing and the speckled stamp stuff is from part one of this um, journal series there's some more torn paper and speckled paper and then there is another one of the digitals from Bethany Spring Fling um, kit that she has on in the shop on one of those little short papers and then here I have um, used a stencil with that uh, frayed burlap distress ink and I made that just on the corner there it look it's the shape of a tag but I just wanted a little bit of that on there so this is how I accomplished that I'm going to show you in a little video clip here and I'm using this uh, stencil that we had gotten in one of the past kits it is from Viva decor and it is the um, Paris let's see 
Etiquette Paris, Tac Paris, something like that. Anyway, um, I just saw this post stuff and we've got that throughout this book. And so I wanted to add a little bit of that onto this page. And I'm just coming off the edge because I don't want the Eiffel Tower and I'm just going to do this part. So I'm getting that frayed burlap and just holding it in place. Aaron Jonas is cleaning my kitchen in the background, so that's the knocking around and cabinets moving and all that stuff that you hear. So I'm going to just add what I'm wanting. And then <laughs> there went the silverware. And then pull that away. And oh my gracious, I love that look. Love it, love it, love it. I'll be using that in on a couple of pages and you'll see but I just wanted to show you how I added that little bit to um, that page um, without much effort just with a template or a stencil I love how that looks all right so that's how I accomplished that and you will see that in a few other pages just in a, at a different angle on through the book so that's how I did that and then it goes through a little bit on that so I, I like that I just left it alone and then another postcard printable and then some more uh, um, die cut collage I put together just a cluster of die cuts from that ephemera pack and that um, I show how I do that and this in part one of the series and then there's another one of those six and a half by six and a half cardstock sheets. And I made a torn pocket, front pocket for that. And then that's another one of the tags there at the top with the Baker's twine. And on this um, vellum, I tore it on the edge and just left it alone. And that beautiful effect I got there. I also show on um, part one um, junk journal the pages video that's part one I show how I get that effect and I really love how that turned out and then that's another one of the um, digitals from Bethany spring fling collection and then this middle of the signature is a trifold envelope and there you can see, <clears throat> there you can see the um, binding. And then flip on over some more die cuts there on this ledger paper. I really like that ledger paper. And then some speckles, that torn vellum again. And then here is the back side of that short cardstock piece and I um, tore this scrap paper that I've had in my stash forever ever ever in a day I just love it and I love that bird it's got glitter on it but the, of course the glitter does not come off and I made it a little tuck with a little ticket piece here put that in there just distressed around the edges and there is that pocket again like on all the other ones with that baker's twine stuck out of the top and the back side of that that coffee speckled paper looks very very cute I love that look and the back whoop, that glue had not dried I guess <laughs> uh, the back side of that postcard and then on this side I did another torn up um, die cut piece that is a piece of I got some little glue balls I'm getting the glue balls off <laughs> uh, that is uh, just a piece of that that I had left over and I just inked around the edges and tore it a little bit more tore that die cut and then left that die cut alone and just clustered that together here's another one of those die cuts from the ephemera pack from Prima with some thread behind it just to give a little bit of shabby chicness to that and then I got this effect when I inked that. 
Now isn't that pretty? But that's why that little ink effect is there because of that page. Um, I didn't do anything to that. I thought it was very cute. I love the numbers on it, so I didn't do anything to that. But I did add a little die cut to the back and then just chopped off that one edge where that die cut was. This is a cut apart from that um, Simple Stories Legacy Collection. And I didn't make that a pocket because we have so many pockets throughout. I didn't want to make it too bulky and stress out the cover too much. So I just put that as is. And then use that stencil again there. Got that green speckled paint look there. I love that look. Love the stamping and the um, coffee rings there. And then on the back side of this postcard um, printable, I put some more die cuts there. Here is the back side of another one of those um, short cardstock pages. And I used that stencil, but used more of the Eiffel Tower. That's the only really um, prominent Paris theme throughout this whole um, journal. But I really liked how that Eiffel Tower looked there. And then I got some of that post light here on there also. And then it goes along with that and that tag there, like in all four of these little short pages. That's probably one of my favorite shots of this entire journal. You've got a cluster here. You've got that jute sticking out there. And you've got your baker's twine, your post, and then this whole thing. And then you see this butterfly kind of pull for your vellum right there with that torn paper behind it. That's probably one of my favorite shots there. I love that. Um, so when we turn this, we've got that showing through, but this is vellum, and we have a little pull here with a spot on the back side with that little mushroom there, and I just cut this with a circle punch so that it would cover up the glue that's holding this down, but I did use my Tim Holtz Tiny Attacher to uh, get that staple, those staples in there good so it wouldn't come off. Now that is a piece of acetate, so that's why you're seeing my lights, my studio lights above. That's a piece of acetate, and I left it open up top so that you could add a picture, dried flowers. Dried flowers would be gorgeous inside of that. So I just adhered it on all sides but the top so something can be tucked in there if you would like. And then we're getting back to the very back with that watercolor paper again. And then we have, this is the um, back cover of the signature itself, not the entire journal, just the signature. And um, we have the pocket again with the butter, uh, butterfly. Pocket again, it does have butterflies on it with the belly band here. And then this is just a little flip open that goes under the little belly band there. These are cut aparts from that legacy collection that I just put some leftover uh, coffee dyed paper on the backs. They can be journal cards or add pictures to them or whatever you would like. So you got to add one, kind of tilt it off to the side and then add the other a little bit higher. So that is that back pocket or back cover of the signature. And then that was added in the last video. Also, this is one of the Spring Fling Digitals from Bethany. And then that's the die cuts. And I just layered it up a little bit to give it some texture. I love how that looks. So pretty. And then this back cover has another secretarial pocket and then it has a bigger flip out booklet kind of thing and I just put some leftover um, coffee dyed paper on the back side of this cardstock that goes along with that bird um, tuck on that one pocket that kind of matches that and journaling or whatever could be added to that 
that paper right there. I wish I had a hundred sheets of that. I love that paper. I love post um, paper and handwriting anyway, but that is some gorgeous paper. I love that. Okay, and then that little booklet just tucks right into that secretarial pocket, and you are at the end. I love this journal. Love it, love it, love it. I don't know that I'm going to be selling it. I might, I might just have to keep this one for myself, but um, I will be adding, um, I'm going to put a glass or cup or something on top of this just so that it can settle. And um, then it will be ready to go if I want to get rid of it. I don't know if I want to get rid of it or not. But I have loved putting this together. I have loved making these four videos for you. And I hope that you have loved watching them. Um, if you have any questions about anything I have done, how I've put it together, and you've already watched all four of the videos and you still don't get how I did something, let me know. And I will try my best to explain what I did and um, help you in any way that I can to get that answered for you. But I really love how vintage this looks. I love this little butterfly pocket or envelope on the inside that you can add anything to. Pictures, journaling, whatever. You can even add a little present to yourself inside that envelope. I just love how it all came together. I love these little tuck-in pockets on these short pages, but like I said, I really, really think that my favorite part of this book comes in about right there. <laughs> that is a favorite layout right there that I, I just really really truly love and I think that might be the picture that I put as my um, title picture for YouTube of course you've already seen that if I use that you've already seen it but I think that's what I'm going to use that is just so pretty I love that little layout there and I love that every page is not completely covered up so you can actually use this as a journal and write in it and add pictures to it without covering up too much. I really like those. I like the dark of that up against all of this light. So I think that went really well. And then of course you've got the dark here and all this light. So I tried to um, make it all symmetrical and um, make it so that it all goes together and nothing is just totally out of whack and sticking out and <laughs> does it go so I think it went rather well it has some really straight sleek lines but then you get inside of it and it is you know wavy and um, traditional junk journal ish so I think um, I love it I really do I think I really love it so I hope that you have loved it I'm going to give you some still shots at the end um, I haven't been doing still shots through this um, series because I knew that I would at the very end on part four. So here is part four, and I'm going to give you some still shots at the end. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and thank you for watching all four videos. If you have watched all four videos, make sure to tell me in the comments. Let me know if you enjoyed this journal series. The Journey of the Coffee Dyed Speckled Journal. Let me know if you enjoyed this series. Thank you for watching till the end. That helps me greatly with YouTube. And y'all have a blessed day. Thanks so much for watching. God bless you so much. Bye.